guys, it's so good to see you all again. Welcome to my channel, Rainbow Tales. If you are new here, then make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss when I post a new video. Today's video is about how you can organize your study table so that it will look neat and it will improve your efficiency. This was requested by many people, so here it is. I'll be sharing with you some tips and tricks that I use to make my studying more efficient and easier. Organizing tip number one is making a particular place for everything. Like for example, your pens, your post-its, pencils, erasers, sharpeners, bookmarks, or be it anything else that you regularly use, make a place for all of them. Doing this lets your mind subconsciously know where things are and makes it easier for finding next time. Whenever I needed something, it always happened so that I couldn't find it and it was really annoying. Comment down below if this happens to you too. Well, this tip can help you not lose your things. Organizing tip number two. Stick to simplicity. You don't need so many things. Don't overcrowd your workspace. This will only distract you. Keep away all the things that you don't use regularly somewhere where your house and your study space doesn't look cluttered. Tip number three, arranging your desk. So here comes the actual part, arranging and organizing your desk. Make sure not to overcrowd your desk and keep only the essentials in handy. But this does not mean that you need to make it boring. You can have some cute knickknacks and some small decorative items which will not disturb you and distract you but will give it a certain charm. Tip number four is to keep uh, switching places. Have about two to three spaces to work or study. Your mind can sometimes get bored if you sit for many hours in the same place. This is why I like to switch places when I am studying. This um, keeps your mind active because you have a new surrounding and new view and this helps you concentrate more. Number 5 is organizing efficiently. What first comes to your mind when I say organizing? Lots of boxes and drawer dividers and pen stands. But no, that is not organizing. It is just overburdening nature by using a lot of plastic. If it is really required, then these plastic boxes can be replaced with jute or bamboo ones or you can just upcycle the cardboard packaging and other boxes which are already in your house. Organizing does not mean buying a lot of boxes and dumping one category of things all into the box. No, that is not organizing. It is keeping your surroundings neat and practical. Now, let's look at my study areas. So this is my desk, which I usually study at. Here, I have my pen stand with some cute things because I like my stationery items to be interesting. These are the items that I use regularly. Next, I have these post-its that I use as bookmarks or I put up some reminders for myself. Next, I have a daily planner which I use to plan. Here I have my study books which I use for school, my class notebooks and my textbooks. Next, I have these cute decorative items that make my desk look interesting. As you can see, this is a very simple setup and there is no clutter. Yet, I have everything that I need in handy. So this is my second study space. Right here, I have a plant. I like to keep plants on my desk because it makes my desk look more lively and I absolutely love plants. I also have a plug point right there to keep the charger for my laptop. 
Next I have this cute DIY pen stand which is filled with the things and the pens which I use regularly and also these two cute show pieces which make my desk look colorful. Let's try reaching 8000 likes for this video. Well, make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links in the description. Comment down below if you want me to make videos on any certain topics and I will definitely try to make them for you. That's all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!